Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a top of the line diesel pusher with a kitchen island. This is a 2022 Fleetwood Discovery LXC model 36HQ. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World's Only Channel, giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a 2022 Class A diesel with a kitchen island. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Mike Grove with Rev Group. Hey everyone, super excited to show you the 36 HQ today. Perfect, and if you guys haven't seen Mike, he has his own YouTube channel, not his own, but Fleetwood has their own YouTube channel. We will link them down below as well if you guys wanna check out more factory rep tours. But Mike, thank you so much for doing this for us. Absolutely. Because uh, if you guys don't know, we are here in Gillette, Wyoming at the uh, FMCA rally. So Mike, uh, without further ado, we're gonna have Mike do the outside and then I'll do the inside. Let's begin. So as Matt said, this is the 36 HQ. Tip to tip length is 36 foot, nine inches. The 36 HQ is the Discovery LXC. It's a compact version of it, but we still got that 380 horsepower L9 engine. Okay. Now 1150 foot pounds of torque. Wow. So just because we went down a size, we didn't sacrifice any power at all. The HQ is built on a Freedom Bridge. Yes. The backbone to that Freedom Bridge has two seven and a half inch I-beams that run the full length of this motorhome. So the exact same structures that are building those skyscrapers and okay. those massive bridges is the same structure that's supporting your motorhome. Perfect. And we have an XCM chassis. That's okay, what, we, what does that mean? XCM. Well, the M is the key letter here. It's modular. Okay. So with a modular chassis, it's not a raised rail. It's not a straight rail. Right. We get a front clip and a rear clip from Freightliner Custom Chassis. Then we pair it with that Freedom Bridge with anywhere from 60 to 80 huck bolts, which is an aerospace technology fastener. Once it goes together, it's not coming apart. Perfect. So, and that's what's giving us all this pass-through storage and really giving us that strength of this foundation. Now, before we show everybody the storage, what generator's running underneath? So right up front here, we have a Jenny slide. Okay. We pull it out and lock it from the bottom. Heck yeah. We have a metal reinforced handle here and that reveals the 8,000 kilowatt Cummins owning generator. And it's running right now and it's quiet. Oh yeah, super quiet. And then it looks like we got the Mobileye collision mitigation system. Correct. Nice big chrome uh, mirrors and everything. Now let's take a look at these tires and then we'll check out that storage. What are those tires? Man? Look at these tires, Mike. They're the Michelins. 275-80R22.5 with shiny AccuRide rims. No, keep on going. So we have the Renew exterior graphic right here. Looks good. That's full Sickens body paint. Sickens yes. is on site at Fleetwood all the time professionally mixing our paint. This is a double clear unit. We put two to three coats of clear on it, sand it down, then we put two more coats of clear on it. So it'll give you a really good UV protection, keeping these collars looking vibrant for many years. Perfect. Frameless windows right there. Dual pane frame. A nice Gerard awning, uh, which real nice because you can't see up top. It makes it a uh, real clean look and everything. high-end look, covering up all of your accessories up top. First compartment, we've been using this, so it's a little dirty in here, but the great thing about that Citadel is it's a dual line composite material. There's zero wood in that basement. You don't Perfect. have to worry about anything rotting. That's the same material they're gonna use in car wash bays. Okay. So that just shows you the durability of it. Yes. Moving back, right here. Look at that. Being at the rally, some yes. people use these for storage already. We got the tools going yeah, on. Tools. Nice Moride slide out tray. You can access that both on one side and the other. Perfect, we'll leave that out real quick. Um, right above that, we have our entertainment system. Whoa, hang on. Is this green? That is green. Holy smokes. It is so subtle too. That's, that, you don't see green on motorhomes. That's a good looking green. Yes, very unique touch. Samsung uh, LED TV pulled out. It is on a swivel. So no matter where you're sitting on this full length patio, 
you have a great view of the TV and then behind it we have a sound bar as well. Perfect, perfect. We got more storage here or yep. more storage more right storage there. Here. And then okay. underneath is our rock guard. LXE comes with a rock guard and that's right here. Now I'm not seeing a ton of storage like m more like yeah. most diesel pushers. Mm -hmm. Is that because of the structure with the kitchen island? Well, we have the kitchen island there that's bumped out a little bit. That's where our, oh, never mind. TV, or our exterior TV yeah, is. Yeah, because it's 36 foot but instead of 40. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Down. This isn't 44 foot. This isn't I'm used 40. to LXEs yeah. being 40. Okay. Seems like a lot of customers are wanting all those amenities in a shorter package right now. Electrical compartment. Yes. 30 amp solar charger. LXE. This one has a 300 watt solar panel up on top. Okay. Then we have our central back and our, um, yeah, whatever it is. Surge guard. Surge guard. Yeah, yes, that's sir. How, your transfer switch. Yes. So, uh, as you said, we paired it with Freightliner Custom Chassis. Great thing about that is the V-Ride. This V-Ride, and you pair that with the Freedom Bridge, this unit has almost no sway from side to side. If you really? back out under uh, um, uneven surfaces, you come off center a little bit, you come right back. Perfect. So, very nice feature there. Perfect. Uh, we move back here. This compartment, we have storage on this side. You uh -huh. see no, no wood again. And we have a 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now speaking about wood, your fiberglass, you're not Absolutely. using Luan and you're not using Asdale. No. What do you guys do different? So we did that process until year 2000. Warrant with the Luan on the back, warranty costs were through the roof. So we went to the drawing table and said there's gotta be a better way. Okay. So we looked at other substrates to put on the back and then we started thinking, well, why do we even need a substrate? We went with an ultra thick piece of fiberglass so this is 100% fiberglass right onto an aluminum structure and high density beach foam insulation. So there's so nothing there's no, to delay them. Right, right, so, perfect, I love it. Perfect uh, scenario right there. Yes, sir. In our last compartment on the entertaining side, we have storage and then we have our hydraulic fill for a four point automatic leveling system. Perfect, now take the camera mic and yes. show everybody what, uh, the hitch and what's going on around back. So on the back, we have a 10,000 pound hitch on the rear and the good thing is with the discovery lxc you can take advantage of that full 10,000 pounds because we have over a we have a 10,000 pound gap between the gvwr and the gcwr very important a neat thing here matt for 2022 is all of your diesels are going to come with the new brake sync by Freightliner Custom Chassis. Oh, those are for like the Air Force One brakes, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But the great thing about brake sync, it was designed by Freightliner Custom Chassis. It's warranted and backed by them. With a third party, you tee into the brake lines. This is a standalone system. So if something happens to your tow vehicle where the brake lines get cut, there's no worry about losing brakes to your primary braking of your motor home. Wow. So really nice feature we're excited to have for uh, 2022. We got our one piece, or our, sorry, our backup camera has audio for the person in the back to communicate with your driver. And we didn't mention it, it does have left camera and right camera and reverse. Yeah, also, uh, Mike, is that a one piece fiberglass roof? Well, yes it is. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. I love how they did that in a 36 foot motorhome still. Uh, we got max air fan covers all the way through. Yes, again, 300 solar panel right there. Wine guard digital antenna, satellite dish and Wi-Fi booster. Very, very nice. Oh, Matt, be careful coming down. Here we go now. That looks pretty sturdy though. Yeah, I hate, hey Mike, I hate these ladders by the way. <laughs> Free! And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What did the RV salesman's go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features. Nobody. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in there, Mike. <laughs> no, you gotta take that. What did the RV salesman's go take his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Perfect. <laughs> I'm leaving that in there. <laughs> Keep on going. Um, so we're on to the driver's side now. We have our intake way up high. Keeping yes. clean air coming into the unit. Yes. Right here we have six house batteries okay. in the LXZ. It's great. We, they're wired in series and parallel. So wiring them in series takes you six volt batteries, bumps them up to 12 volts. Perfect. Parallel grows that battery bank. And then right behind it is our air filter. So when you go to change your air filter, you change that whole metal piece right there. You don't have to go inside of it and buy filters that, uh, that go inside. Perfect. So you see four house batteries there. 
right here, we have two more house batteries located on the bottom, making six. And then we have two batteries up top that are your chassis batteries. So if you do need to start your jump your coach for some reason, make sure you're jumping these ones. If you're jumping these ones, you're not gonna get anywhere quick. Perfect. Uh, some storage here for some depth fluid. We have a 13 gallon depth tank. Usually we're running about two and a half percent depth versus diesel. Perfect. So doesn't need to be filled up too often. Moving up a little farther is our wash down bay. Yeah. With the Discovery LXE, we have a power water hose, mm. and a power shoreboard reel. So yes. That's nice. Whole house builder recommend to be changed about eight every 8,000 gallons. We have our low point drains. So when you're coming to winterize your unit, here's where you want to do that. We have an exterior shower. The pets always get in the mud when you're camping. So Hell great yeah. spot to spray them off. You don't need to go inside. We have a water pump switch right here. Our knife valves are on a swivel for easy access. And we have a uh, holes cut out on the bottom. So all this stuff can be routed through the bottom and everything be locked up. Perfect. Moving up to the next compartment. This is pass-through storage from the other side. And yep. that is our rock guard we were talking about. Yep. Other side of the storage. Yep, there's that slide-out tray. It's right now it's currently extended out through the other side. We can access that through here, just like Matt said. And the last one, there's that Aqua Hot 400D. Yes. Full electric coach, no propane on board. Takes care of all of our heating and all of our water. You got unlimited hot water and you get air from an aqua hot that doesn't deplete any of the interior um, humidity. So you wake up feeling good. You don't got that stuffy, itchy feeling when you wake up. For sure, and Mike, yes. somebody wants to see the other specs about this motorhome, bing, they can see it all right there. It's all the specs about this motorhome. Perfect. Perfect. And the last compartment, we have some storage, windshield wiper fluid. Right above it, we have two chucks. One of those is to put air into your ping takes in an emergency if you needed it. And then the other one, you know, is to fill up the kids' toys or blow out your luggage compartments, whatever you need to do. Perfect. Well, Mike, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Perfect. I'm gonna walk through with the slide outs in. I need to get those chairs around first. What's Perfect. So while I'm walking through, the slide outs are in. And this is amazing because it has a kitchen island. You guys are going to hear me mention a little later that for me, it is a little tight. I definitely have to walk sideways like this. You can get the slide outs out now. But you have access to your fridge right here. And then you have a bathroom right here. Okay, you can get to that. Very nice. Also guys, I do want to mention that, and then here's the bedroom. I do want to mention, I want to give a big shout out, one to Mike from Fleetwood. Um, Andrea didn't make it up here. She was going to fly up here, uh, but the Hurricane Elsa kept her at home. So big shout outs to Mike. Make sure you guys check out Fleetwood's YouTube channel. Uh, we'll link it down below. Also big shout out, we got to get the slides in the back as well. Also big shout out to Will and Jen um will from matt's rv reviews tobles uh they have their own youtube channel about travel vlogging and i flew up to maryland the first of july or second of july and we did an epic road trip from maryland to here in wyoming we stepped we stopped by chicago minnesota um the badlands mount rushmore so it's a really great time so if you want to see my adventures and their adventures together make sure you check out matt's rv not matt's rv reviews tobo make sure you check out will and jen's youtube channel we'll also link down below all the side outs are out? They're out. Perfect, so I'm gonna do the inside, but I want you to do the cockpit area. Okay. Thanks, sir. So, with the cockpit, we have the OptiView digital dash. Okay. The thing about it, you know, we can program whatever gauges we want up here, the ones that are important to you to view. It's a great feature. And plus, with the Freightliner since 2020, they've incorporated all their controls right here at your fingertips. They've yes. really focused on safety. So we can control our gear right here. And plus our engine brake is right here as well. Perfect. So that's nice. Um, really cleaned up the dash and dual monitors. I'm a huge fan of the dual monitors because when we're in those congested areas in downtown, let's say Chicago, Matt, you just said you're in Chicago. Not in an RV, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you, uh, you can see your navigation 
and you can see your cameras of what's beside you at the same time. So nice. That's a that's a real good safety feature. We have our display for our mobile eye right here, mm -hmm. and right there is our uh, sensor for that. Perfect. And then over here, I'm in the cockpit seat. Oh, do you know the cargo carrying capacity off the top of your head? Uh, I have a yellow tag right here. I can take a look at. Five thousand nine hundred forty-six pounds. So over here in the cockpit area, it's nice and comfortable. Here's your remotes for your Gerard awnings. You guys know how I feel about that. Mike, we're gonna have a discussion on camera about it a little bit later. Right on. Uh, right up here, we do have the storage. Uh, I love this because these are slide out buttons as well. You can also do the slide out buttons from the digital screen, but the fact that there's two options, I like that. Auto leveling right there, door awning and everything. Right up here, slide. We got a little bit of that. That's your Wi-Fi Ranger, your LG TV and a little bit more storage not really but something that's your king air digital antenna and everything and then both of these seats do swivel around perfect and mike if you want to come over here um this also does have a bunk over the cab and because we're at fmca um we don't have the key but it's a very nice easy drop down and glide very very nice over here in the living room area i love how they did this so not only were they able to give you a kitchen island they were able to do this not only were they able to give you a kitchen island and do the double seats, they did it in 36 feet as well, which is crazy. I love that. Right over here, we have a sofa. Comes out and makes a bed. Okay, a sink. Oh, that's how they do it, smaller sofas. But still, I mean, there's still two-seater sofas. Hey, listen, let's be real. You're buying an LXC, you don't want your kids to come anyway. This is for the non-paying customers. Set it up, stay the night, and get them out. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. You got your TV right there. Easy to set back up. Thank you, sir. TV's right there. Okay, a little bit of storage here. Blu-ray player with sound system. And then across from the TV, these are theater seats. Oh man, we got it on. <sighs> very, very nice. You got those theater seats right there. Really nice TV position. Cup holders, they light up. There's also USB in that seat. Oh, oh a USB in this seat. Oh, come here, come here, look at this. With a little thingy ma uh, to make sure like food and crumbs don't get in there. Now I'm gonna let Mike take over to show us the complicated dinette, but very nice dinette. So this is the adaptable table. Yes. While we label it, we do have the patent on this. The, the whole point of this table originally was we wanted to put an island in a class A motorhome, something yeah. you do not see. And that's because you have access to the rear of your unit. So with the adapt adaptable table, we have two chairs sitting here. You wake up in the morning, you have breakfast, send a couple emails, have a great view. And then you got company coming over at night. We pull out the table and we spin it around. Look at that, it's not complicated. No, it's not it's simple, complicated. It's simple. Two other chairs folded up in the rear, so you got seating for four. Perfect, now now set it back up mm -hmm. uh, the way it was. Oh, you can do it like 360. Yeah, it's 360. Okay, see, so here's the way, this is the way we have it set up, but Mike, I'd be doing it this way. It, this is how I would do it as well. Yep, especially a lot of people are full-timing, right? You know, forget about the table and you like screw your monitors down. You can put two or three monitors there. Um, just a whole bunch of different things. Above, we do have very nice storage. This all solid wood, Mike. Hey Mike, chime in anytime. Anything yeah. you wanna? No, one thing I like to point out in our cabinets is everything is solid metal. Okay. No plastic hardware at oh. all within this cabinetry. All ozite lined, it really quiets down the ride. You don't have to worry about plates chattering and all of that. Perfect. You do have your balances here, Andrea approves. Andrea loves all the uh, Fleetwood interior decors. And look at that, even that looks nice. You know, it's not just a regular blacked out shade. You know, if this cost, you know, a hundred bucks, then this one, if a blacked out shade costs hundred bucks, this one's gonna be like 150, but it's totally worth it because it just makes it the hues and the colors or whatever. It matches and makes it more home feeling. Right, exactly. Well, Mike, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MS, oh, no, right here, right here. 
I, 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 I oh, put the internet right there. Gotcha. No, nope, in the middle. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $438,875 MSRP. Sale price, Mike, do you see a sale price there? No. No, because right now with the way the RV industry is, we can't advertise sale price because this unit today is going to be more expensive six months from now until everything gets back to normal. But Mike, we're not selling it for $438. We're giving everybody a lot better price than that. And do you know how people get the best price in America? Uh, call, text, email, or FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. There, if you're ready to buy an RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV. Somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. Two, if you're not ready to buy and you have questions, click tab number two. That sends an email to both me and Will, and we're here to answer your questions for you. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And it doesn't matter if you click tab three, two, or one. Mike, what's the one thing they'll always get? Matt Cash. The best price in America. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'm, I'm pretty impressed you knew the uh, call, text, email, FaceTime. Yeah. Show us the kitchen area. Show us the kitchen. Well, let's move this pillow real quick. Yes. But, so, solid surface, induction cooktop. We have a 13 by 60 picture box window. Lets a ton of light in. It makes the unit look really uh, larger than it is. Everything's symmetrical throughout this kitchen. If you see like the storage up top. Yeah, let's look look into storage that. Storage in here. Very nice. All adjustable shelves, Ozite line. Okay. And same thing down below. But on the left side here, we have two pull-out pantries. Oh, wow. And this one again is the same. Wow. Four drawers underneath, convection, rule pool, microwave. Okay, okay. Yeah, because there's no propane, so there's no oven. No. I love this backsplash. That looks really, really good. Makes a great uh, centerpiece plus a spice rack behind is what a lot oh, of customers do. Perfect, right perfect. Here. And then what's that right there? We have the power tower. Hey, that's a tower of power right there. <laughs> And then show us these drawers, brother. We have right underneath the four drawers. The bottom one's a little larger for the larger pans. And then we have three here. Well, there's our solid surface covers for mm. our induction cooktop. And there's the other one. Perfect. Right over here, we got a little bit more storage right there. And then right here on this kitchen island, look at this, guys. That is a Fisher Pacal dishwasher. Show it to us. So, Thank you, sir. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. If you're not using it for a dishwasher, it's a great spot to stack up all of your uh, dishes, storage. Yes. Right here we got more, that's your sink. And then what are you doing here, like a farmhouse sink? We got the farm style sink, and it seems like customers want that larger sink now without the divide in the middle. Yep. So now that's what we're getting with our island. And then look at what they did, folks. They did the dark with the light. The Very nice. Colors, correct. And with that contrasting colors as well, Matt, this is a brand new wood option we just released in 2022. Oh! Uh, winter fog is what we call it. It's like that heritage painted wood, like the white, but it has a little gray tint to it and all of the inlays are gray. So it holds up the fingerprints a little better, just gives that more contrast. I love it, I love it. A little bit more storage down there. Storage, yep, underneath. Yep. Oh, hey oh now. Oh my gosh. That's a $104 trash can right there. Yep, that's an access panel for our electric box on the side over here. I'm glad to see factory reps do that and too because we do that every episode. I've done it probably 40 times as well today or this uh, trip. Perfect. And then we got a nice residential real full refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Subway and Dairy Queen. In Look here. how good it looks. You know, like the fact that Fleetwood demonstrated this for us. It's all about getting that experience. Man. Yes, yes. So, we love it. We love it. If we shut that camera off, we can probably have a sub real quick. Heck yeah. Perfect. And then it's also a water dispenser and ice dispenser. Yep. Very right nice. Talk to us about that. Right here is our multiplex system that is operated by Firefly. That's the system that it is. We control all of our features in our motorhome basically from right here. Yep. Nice centralized location. But a cool thing for 2022, in the past, we could have the app and we control this all from our cell phone, right? Yep. But we were limited to Bluetooth range. Okay. So you're thinking 90 feet or so. Maybe. And now with the Eclipse module we're putting in, it's Wi-Fi. Oh, wow. We can control this from across the United States if you want. Nice. So you always have a 
you always know what your motorhome is doing. So if, if if for for all my ladies out there, if your husband's making you mad on an RV trip, just close close the slide outs <laughs> on him. If you want to grab this for me, yes, we're gonna show everybody the bathroom here. So right here we do have our sink area, medicine cabinet with the mirrors. Nice. I love the backsplash and the solid surface. I love how they did that, especially with the big cargo carrying capacity. It's very very nice. Here's your shower. It's a radius shower. You know, nice tile, very nice shower. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, we, we talked about this the last 36 cube we did. Uh, I'm not a super huge fan of it, but it's better than the plastic radius shower. There's definitely pros and cons about it. We'll mention that a little bit later in the video. And then Mike, if you want to come here. And then we're right in here. Nice little bathroom area. Plastic? No, I'm no. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Porcelain. I'm a little enclosed, but I'm clear on this side, clear on this side. Toilet paper holder is in the right position. This is a prime poop position. Bing. Perfect. And then in this bedroom here, we have the king bed tilt up storage above the bed. Very nice. Really nice deep storage right there. Okay, and also speakers right there as well. Nice looking bed, nice looking decor in here. I like how it's green as well, like the outside a little bit. One thing on this bed Talk mat, to me, talk to me. Right above here, you're gonna see this switch, it says camera selector. Okay. So what that's gonna do is our safety view interior camera system. That's gonna take the mirror, the cameras that are integrated into the mirror and the camera on the rear cap. If you hear a bump in the night at the campground, if you're in a Walmart parking lot, you hear something going on in the parking lot, so all you have to do is hit this button, and this will display all your cameras on your TV. Wow. So it's a neat little feature to have. That is so cool. Right here, you got storage right here, okay. This right here, remote for the bed. We'll mention this in a few minutes. LG TV with storage behind there. Dresser drawer right here, six of them, okay. Right over here is stackable Whirlpool washer dryer. Love that. And then right over here to finish it all is a little bit of storage with a ladder for that top bunk over the cab area. Well, Mike, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's a Matt's RV reviews first. It's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it in front of the factory rep, <laughs> Mike. Which do we do first? Well, Matt, we might as well just get the dislikes out of the way. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna go first. Well, I'm not gonna have you do any dislikes. I'll let you do the likes, I'll do the dislikes. <laughs> first dislikes, the remote for the bed and the remote for the awnings. I hate those features because, is there a bed lift on the wall? No. Yeah, okay, good, good. Because there should be a bed lift on the wall because a person like me I am going to lose this remote. A person like me, I'm going to lose that awning remote. Whereas if there was a second button, kind of like how there's second buttons for the lights and second buttons for the um, for the slide outs, that would just be better for me. So on the... Uh-oh. Uh okay. <laughs> Talk so, to me. So I agree on the um, bed. Yeah. I will lose that remote too. Um, so we do need to be strategic where we put that. Yeah. But on the... Awnings. I show you something up front. Okay, here Let's, we go now. <laughs> so we gave you two remotes. So what a lot of customers do, it's in this nice little holder. They will screw this into a spot like that, and then this just stays in there. Then they'll take their other remote and make it portable. So now they have a fixed one here. But that's not all, because right here is another box. You just press this button, and it will run your awnings out as well. So. Now, if we lose our remotes, we still have access. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Still, that's my first dislike. Dislike number two. <laughs> I hate the shower. It's not that I hate the shower. The shower is good for a 36 foot motorhome. It's when I, I'm comparing this to other Discovery LXEs, which on the other floor plans, they have phenomenal showers. But if you want the kitchen island, you want the 36 feet, it's what you have to put up with. 
said it perfect, Matt. Perfect. And then number three is going to be the walk area with the slide out in. It's very tight, especially for somebody like me who's a little portly. You know, you saw me when I walked in, I had to walk in like this. It is what it is if you want the kitchen island. At the end of the day, what's more important? The convenience of walking like this to go to the bathroom during transportation or having this awesome floor plan and layout while you're at your destination. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Mike, why don't you give us three things you love about it? The okay, okay. Well, it's the 36HQ. I love the floor plan. Yes. Because it, we've been very innovative this past year or so, mm -hmm. and it's exciting to come to these shows and Matt, you were set up beside this. How much attention did this 36HQ get? It got a lot, it got and a lot. It was great just showing off the new features. So the 36HQ, oh, I just have to say that fixed island, that adaptable table. That, exactly, I, I'm gonna combo that with the dual seats as well. Um, but that's gonna that's gonna kind of come into my, to my second light. I like the length of this, 36 feet, still awesome floor plan, still awesome layout. The fact that they were able to do all this and accomplish it in 36 feet. The cargo carrying capacity is super high in here. Not only that, the triple AC units, they didn't have to do that because those units are a little bit smaller, but they still did, which makes it really nice. We put the AC on five minutes before starting recording and it's already cold in here. So that's number two. And then number three, I must say the interior, this is what Andrea would say, <laughs> the way it looks. For me, I see white cabinets. I didn't know or realize about the gray accents to match with the decor, the hues, you know, everything. We met um, at FMCA here. I met the uh, interior designer, what's her name? Mindy Cox. Hi, Mindy. Uh, and she was explaining like, we see white and brown and black, but there's white with hues of gray and shades of this that we, we I don't notice. I don't want to say we, but I don't notice, but it definitely makes a difference because you see other motorhomes that have white cabinets, but they're different. And somebody like me, I'm like, man, it's different, but I can't tell. But when you have this, the backsplash here, you know, the countertops, the shades that they are, there's a lot of strategy that goes into the color scheme in here, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Well, Mike, that's it, that's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. And thank you, Mike, for being on the show, being the first factory rep to do the review. Even though, even though you, you, you um, you overrid one of my dislikes, um, you know, and that's not allowed, but we, we, we gotta check the rule book for that, but we appreciate you being on. Mike, tell everybody how to find you. Go to Fleetwood RV on YouTube. Yep. We do a lot of walk around videos as well. So if you jump on Matt's channel and he doesn't have one, which he has tons of them, um, or you just want another view on it, just yes. jump over to Fleetwood RV and uh, we have them all listed there. Yeah, especially if you're, you know, if you are looking to purchase a particular unit i mean he's going to give you the nuts and bolts a little bit more in depth than what i would do if you guys have any questions about this fleetwood please call text send us an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell but the best thing to do is go to matt's rv reviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching make sure you check out another video right here and here and mike we'll see you next time